now coming to the actual part set up the react development environment how we are going to be set up that react development environment means we have the following steps a few steps only very comfortable as a first step in the last presentation of already we completed how to install node.js from node.js.org agree so whichever the operating system you are using that can be downloaded from maybe windows operating system or linux you can download it second to set up the react environment check it first of all which type of version you are going to be using as i said the different versions of node are there right so in that one which was the version if it is a less than 8.10 and the npm that is node package manager you are using less than 5.6 we had to be update that one the updation is called as boilerplate boilerplate this boilerplate means what is a normally boiler means it will be have some boiling means to had to be eat it it to eat means prepare the food boiler food boiler plate plate is nothing but converting that older version to a newer version means latest version we had to get it because every frequently for one year or two years you are getting new new packages new new models to make that older version to new version you have remember right this is one what is this install hyphen g it's a command line options we have different different command line options are available like install install hyphen g search all these sort of things are there so npm install hyphen g this is a package create hyphen react hyphen app what will be can be do is it will be create an react environment for creating our applications so create hyphen react hyphen app once you install this one you will get a screen like this once in the command prompt if you install that npm install hyphen g once you have done this create hyphen react hyphen app it will be shows the new packages any old packages it will updated the new packages as well okay this is the basis you will get it once you run that command next under that set up in the environment 2.1 the step is create an app to react how to make that one once you create successfully convert into the older version to newer version now with the help of npx so what is the difference of that npm and npx means here npm means node package manager npx means node package x stands for execute e x c u t e x e c u t execute where second character x has there what is the purpose of this one is you have already call a package called as for creating a react app we can call now from now onwards not a project we can call as a create a react app create the app okay so npx space create hyphen react hyphen app this is our app name you can use your name also my hyphen app you can use your name right not only always my app once you done this one it will create see the difference between the npm and npx before going to the next command now here npx will do always taken the latest version that's why it is going to for npx what is the difference between that npx and npm is x stands for as i said you execute it's a npm is a it is a simply an npm package runner npx is the npm package runner runner means already you are aware after the compile we are running the program what will be do inside that one is normally if you want any module or any package we had to be manually outsourcing that is externally we had to be install that package or module but when you are using npx automatically they allows the execute to any javascript package available on the npm registry without even installing npm will automatically taken care by that one but see such a way that the npm version which you are going to using minimum version should be 5.2 now once you have done what is the purpose of create hyphen react hyphen app means it is a npm package what is the purpose of this one is it has to be to create your application we are going to be using this react hyphen uh, create hyphen react hyphen app it is expected only once in the project life cycle not every time is required with a single line of syntax just now we have seen it npm x space create hyphen react hyphen app space any application name you can any app name we can take it again we have 2.2 step here is once you created successfully once you created successfully my app go to that particular directory 
CD space, my app. Now, how to start our NPM? NPM is the node package manager, which can connect the modules which are available between NPM registry and to your React application. NPM, what is the purpose of NPM? Is a mediator between NPM registry. In NPM registry, we have different modules and your application, React application. That will be NPM space start. Once you have done it, it will be, once you executed this command, it will show automatically it will open the browser with open a local host colon 3000, that is 3000. This automatically open that particular browser and say that webpack compiled successfully. Already you are aware, pack you are going to using once you combined entire that particular package, once you are creating, it will be used that webpack compiled successfully. Now automatically a page will open a browser with this address and the React, that is edit SRS. Uh, this is a logo and some text and some link will be there. This is how we can be created. Once you have done it, this is the, these two steps. What is the first step? We need Node.js. Second step is what? To set up environment. To set up the environment, what is the first thing we have to do? Make convert that older version to newer version. NPM space install hyphen G, create hyphen React hyphen app. Once you've done it, create your app to React.js. To React, once you want to create it, create an app, we have to use a command called as npx space create hyphen React hyphen app and space your application name, app name. And once you've done it, now run the React application. How to run that app uh, React application means go for that particular directly, move on to that particular directly, means move on to your particular app and run the NPM start. Once it is start, it will be open this particular browser automate. Now, how we are making, now once you have run for only one time, one time job of this React, uh, create React app. Now, once you have done it, now see, to make for next time onwards, to create the different different apps of React apps, what we need to do is for the next time onwards. This is one time job previously we have done it. From now step three onwards, once when you want to create any number of React apps, what is the first step you have to do it? Create, you use the command create hyphen React hyphen app and use any app name. Previously I have used my hyphen app. Now I'm going to using my app or kkb app whatever you can use it now what is this means what is this statement once you run the command what the statement meaning is it creates a directory it creates a directory which creates which having a bunch of files inside that one now let me see what will be there once you run this command what will happen a directory will be created where wherever you have run this command in that a directory will be created under that directory a bunch of files will be available how that file structure will look like is i have created that directory that my app under the folder c drive users bashir my hyphen app under that i have created one application called as kkb app instead of my app i have created kkb app now once you've done it how the file structure how the directory structure will look like is it having three folders. One is node underscore modules, another is public, another is SRC. Also, it consisting of some more readme, package.json, already we had discussed in the last session, right? Package.json, all read available. Now, in this one, there is again, some more files will be there in SRC, some more files in public, some more files in node underscore modules. Now we have very important files, the index.html and index.js. Any changes, if you want to be rendering in the index.html, there is a ID called as in the division element, there is an ID equal to root. So all the everything will rendering from here itself. Rendering means it will call, interpreting everything from there itself. And whatever the React code you are having, that React code need to be pay, uh, make it in index.js. Now, without late, let me, I will show you one small application, how we can be run it. Now see, once you have created the KKB app, this is just now I have said it, right? That the KKB app, once you've done it, now see, you can go open this, go to the particular directory, run the server, npm space, start. Once it is start, automatically the same thing. Same thing will run it, like it will open this and it will open this page. Now without lead, let me show you one small example so that you can change what's the code you can run it.
see i am going to this prompt i am just closing the previous what i have created okay so we'll come back uh, so already have, we have created up to this one right so once you want to create it where i am here i am here user this is my current directory see my app my app clear now under this my app now you want to create a fresh react application now how to create that one is first you need to create the app create hyphen react hyphen app i get just using kkb app 1 simple i am going to creating kkb app 1 enter now once you have done it it will start creating a new react app if you observe clearly now it is showing installing react react dom react react scripts with cra template cra template is very important without the templates the maximum whatever we are doing with the help of templates only we are doing over here now it will start creating that react app it is building an app if you observe carefully what actually the things are going on the ideal tree all these are moving it takes a minute to one and a half minute so it is going on installing there because it is build the supporting files a bunch of files will be available to create it so in that bunch of files what will happen the hierarchy whatever we have discussed the hierarchy over here the total hierarchy will be available now as i already told you it is a mvc architecture now we need to be focus on where i need to be keep my react code where i need to be change my html part that if you are understood very easily sort of there then where wherever you want you can do that changes okay so this is the hierarchy remember the node in the back end it is running the first step we had to be run the node in the back end the environment has to run it now this is building the app so see rectify rify node the node underscore modules where it is going to regenerating all so it is take some time sometimes means is one minute to around of minute done see installing template dependencies we using npm all so if you see the ideal tree it is going to creating at kkb app 1 kkb app 1 it is installing if you see in the top it is already installed so on so packages 1417 packages in 2 seconds is installed and 231 packages it is added 62 packages in 21 seconds totally it is having uh, 231 packages are looking for funding over this means new whenever the new packages are come it will be overwrite it removes the old packages and replace the new so wherever the folder you have please make sure that the folder having uh, which which are the directories now in in this my app already kkb is there now it is kkb uh, kkb app is already there now it is creating kkb app 1 now see once it is done whether how we can be no means already have shown here how we'll get it a successful message is once you have done this one it will show cd my app np start we suggest you that happy hacking the last message it is showing us happy hacking it's nothing but the things are done in a proper way okay
So see, here there is a SRC public files are available. Now in SRC, SRC is nothing but total your source code. Now in the SRC, there is a app. There is a app over there in SRC. There is a app dot uh, JS file is available. App dot JS file is available over there. Now what we are doing here is we are just making our things in that particular app dot JS inside this folder. App dot JS is there, right? In SRC in your app. Now open that. If you see the code, if you see the code over here. Once <coughs> once you run the program normally, it is open the output as like this. Once you have done the run the output, the output is like this. So what is the output look like? An image, a text, a link, hyperlink is there, right? Once you are running. Now, what you are doing here is we are changing that app dot js. This app dot js. See, import logo. You have insert the logo logo dot svg, and import dot slash app dot css file. There is a function called as app. And this is the return that app total app is going to be returning this entire part. What is there inside the return? There is a new class name app, the header class name, SRC logo. We are going to inserting here with the class name this alter and edit something. And these are classes like this. The code which is there, the getting the output. This is the normal app.js code. Now, whatever you want to be replaced, you can replace inside this one. If you want to add any new HTML part. You can add inside this div, inside the, this div part. If you want to add it, you can delete this this one, header to this part. You can add a new one. So before that, let me have run the program. So now you are going to be changed. Whatever the code you want, you can change that one, this part, in this div part. The output of this program is inside this. Now if you want to be Delete this, you can delete, you can add your HTML part, whatever you want. You can add the H1 hello world. Just you can use as H1 hello world slash H1. Just if you save it, automatically to run it. But now it is not needed now as we are waiting for this node. But already I have done it in KKB uh, app. App. I will open this. The same code. Done. Okay. Now, what is the next step? CD, KKB, app one. Right. Once it is done, get it. CD, KKB, app one. Enter. Hope it is visible. Now, KKB one. What is the what you have to do? NPM, start. Enter. Once you enter it, automatically, it has to be create. Say this one. Starting the development server and where it is starting, localhost 3000. I'm not open any browser. Automatically, it is open that browser and show that particular what available in app.js. What is there in that app.js? A image, a text file, a link, a text 